Hi everybody and welcome back to the flute practice. Today is day two of our flute boot camp series and today we are going to get those fingers moving. <laughs> find that sometimes also once again when I'm getting back into like my routine and my playing it's so overwhelming to deal with specific technical aspects or even to like do pieces or studies or any of those things and sometimes just something so simple like a scale system or like a technical scale exercise really is like bomb to my soul I don't have to think too much I don't have to like be too concerned and it is so beneficial so today we are going to start off with one of my really uh, kind of like favorite exercises I th I think just because out of all of them maybe it's I know it the best but I, d I do find it's like relatively simple it's just really a good old scales and arpeggios. We are going to be doing right it exercise number one today. If you are at the beginning stages of this I want you to take this exercise and really like appropriate it to what you can do. So choose the keys from this exercise that are easy enough to do. Uh, maybe, you know, limit your register, kind of figure out if you can find a way to make this doable for you. I'm going to start this exercise as it is written in C major. If this is too difficult for you, you know, to get that low C, maybe you want to start in the F major version. Uh, if you are not so maybe familiar with minors, maybe you want to leave out the minor scales and just stick with the major scales. Really, you've got to be creative here in terms of what you are able to do. If you have got any questions, I do encourage you to ask away. And for those of you who are my patrons, we can also have a private session where we can discuss what you can do if this is too difficult. All right, so here we go. <laughs> in one breath that is great that's a challenge I would like to make to those of you who are slightly more advanced however I think the most important thing at this stage is even fingers even tone even sound and it's not at this point about speed yet we are really just wanting to get these fingers moving again remember still being kind to ourselves still being gentle so perhaps you want to breathe halfway through or even after every bar I think you know you kind of just got to like accept where you're at and just go with it live it love it enjoy it so if we're gonna go halfway through, I'm gonna carry on to the A minor. Maybe you wanna breathe here. E's are always nasty, nasty, nasty. So on those arpeggios, do you start to listen out? Oh, are, you know, are those intervals really all nice and even or are they like cracked notes or weak notes in that? We are going to be activating our ears super big time over time in the next couple of weeks. This you are going to discover is the most important friend that you have in this practice journey. So we're carrying on and carrying on. And maybe you want to try different articulations as well, also perfectly allowed. maybe stick to the same articulation the whole way through probably a good idea so this exercise it moves through all your majors and all your minor keys we get into some really grisly keys I'm going to post a Instagram post about that later of me trying I think maybe like E flat minor or something cool just to you know keep it keep it exciting but if you cannot do some of these crazy keys I think don't stress about it just do the keys that you can do what you can for now and you will improve over time. All right, everybody, happy practicing, happy moving your fingers, enjoy it, love it, be gentle, be kind, and well done for coming back to day two. It's a big step. Remember, you can get onto that newsletter. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook if you wanna keep with updates there. And of course, for all my patrons, thank you as usual for your wonderful support, and there will be some extra little bits for you coming soon as well. Until then, happy practicing and see you next time.